we are back to fishing where we have some crab pots that we can pull up i think these things are ready right are these things ready i think nope they got nothing in them yet mm. All right, well, these things are going to have to hang out for a little while longer. They got three more days. So in that time, while we go ahead and wait for all of my crab pots, which, by the way, I put down a bunch of them. Let me see. Let me look at our map here. Uh, they're all hidden behind me. But yeah, so there's one, uh, two, three, four, five. I think there's like five or six of them that I've put out. Uh, all in all, I some passive money gains there. But what I want to do is I want to wait until it is time like in the morning and then we're gonna head over here to the gale cliffs now i have no idea what's over here there's this red x which means the guy that's over at that mansion over there wants something he's real spooky but he keeps giving me some skills like for instance he gave me this skill that makes it so if i have to i can like get out of there really really fast but it can cause my engine to overheat so we want to make sure that we're being aware of that and not having that happen the other thing that we can do is we can come over here and we probably could get ourselves a few upgrades. Uh, I've gone through and got a little bit of stuff. So let's go ahead and dock up and I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, I've gone through and got an upgrade so I can put in another fishing pole. This is important because it made it so I can fish up multiple things at once i also got this big old hydraulic rod as well allowing me to fish up anything in the ocean so now i can go oceanic shallow and coastal i cannot do abyssal fishing yet or dreads dredge fishing so uh, i don't know if abyssal fishing is even a thing it's just when i come over here and i go and look in the uh, encyclopedia guy here yeah i can't do Hadal, abyssal volcanic or mangrove fishing i can only do these three which is okay which is okay. Hopefully we'll get some more cool things as we go. Um, but right now we need to sleep through the night. We'll rest until dawn. And then, you know what? We're actually going to wake up a little bit before dawn. There we go. And you know what? That's, uh, that's going to do it. And we're going to undock. And we're going to go out at night. Now, this is nice and spooky, us going out late at night like this. But we're going to come over here to the Gale Cliffs. So I need to pretty much go out. And I think off this way, but what is this right here? What is, what's going on here? What do we got going on here? Let's see, let's, let's do some fishing here and see what we got going. I think that this might be saying that there's a specialty squid in here. I think what this is trying to tell me, which is what that green glow is. Yeah, see, look, one of those, a brood squid that's got some extra specialness to it. All right, let's go back home. We'll sell these really, really, really fast. I mean, how it's just a wee bit of money. We never know what we're going to run into. And then off we'll go towards those Gale Cliffs areas. So here we go. Dock up. How you doing, my guy, my dude, my fishmonger buddy? Here we go. You can uh, you can have these. You guys can see where I got those crab pots from. All right, there you go. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. I'm out. Oh, Alrighty. I do believe that it's southwest is where I want to go, right? Is that right? Uh, it's actually it's actually northwest is where I want to go. Over that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, dokie. Am I going the right way? I am. We just got to skirt skirt on over this way and hopefully we don't run into anything too big and nasty that wants to eat our whole boat. I've seen some crazy pictures of some stuff that's just absolutely massive in this game that wants to eat you. We'll see if I can run into that today. Alrighty, we're pulling up to our first little area that's over here. Now, uh, this is like a whole another little town area, and there seems to be a little bottle over here. Floating message for me. Ooh, what are you? What is this fish? This fish looks similar to something I've caught before, right? Oh, that's different. Oh, look, it's cute. It's tiny. What are you, a little ocean perch? It's all cute and tiny and stuff. All right, I'm down for this. I also like this, uh, the fact that the mini game is not exactly the same every time. We'll stop and pick up some fish here. Hopefully, there's a place to sell these over here. If not, we're going to be, uh, stuck over here with some stinky, stinky fish here for a little bit. Alright, looks like we're out of fishing over here. Alright, let's skirt, skirt on over here. Let's check out this first town. Hello? How you doing over here? Anybody cool over here that wants to chit-chat with me? I got some stuff. You guys want some fish? Let me see. I got stuff for storage. Ooh, 
Ooh, an Enfell resident. What's up? What is it? Uh, do you need help with anything? A meal for your partner, huh? You want some cogger eels? Uh, you may say they're rotting, but they're... Ooh. Ooh. Well, you bury them in the ground, though? <laughs> um, can you bring me an aged cogger eel? Okay, well, apparently I'm gonna have to just, uh, go that. Oh, you can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holds of burrows within the cliffs. Ew. Ew. So, cogger eels, I gotta go fish near a cliff. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's go back here. Uh, anything else? Uh, retired whaler, he doesn't really look like he wants to chit-chat too much. So we're gonna undock here. And I'm just gonna skirt, skirt right on over here. Meow! Skirt, skirt, skirt! Do a little bit of fishing. I don't know what this thing is, but we're gonna fish this up. Well, that's a big old boy. It's a stonefish. We're gonna get that. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and move a couple of these guys around. Uh, oh, yeah. Get those skirted over a little bit there. There we go. Open up a wee bit more room for me. Go ahead and pull up another one of these guys. There we go. Ooh, I got a fresh one that's even more dangerous. All right, let's go over here. Oh, it's dark over here. Oh, it's real dark over here. Oh, it's real, real dark over here. Ooh, that's a tornado right there. All right, we're going to just skirt on in here. It looks like there's a place to park it right here. There we go. Park on up. An old man emerges from a nearby broken building and hobbles wow. towards you. Don't get many visitors around here. What do you need? Uh, this place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? Been stubbornly holding out for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happy here for so long. My wife and had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, only left with these trembling rocks. I could help you move. It's not that simple. My brother would never... You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother, and he was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about our parents' inheritance. Oh. Took the family crest and stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? The problem lies uh, after the collapse, that creature. It dragged debris from the houses and went to the wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you find it, a large whale, bone crest, it'd be the world to me. Take a little peeky peeky for it. Careful. Anybody, uh, no, you don't got anything to sell over here? Oops, okay. I'll, uh, we'll try to undock here. Doesn't look like I can get through this area over here. A pile of loose debris clearing would take some strong explosives. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to try to uh, rest here really quick for just a little bit. Let my brain reset. Talk to the hermit. Hello again. Uh, do you know how I could co to ooh, use some explosives to ship those rocks? Okay. Nasty stuff. Ooh, I could use the whale's explosives. Okay, we'll see you later. All right, let's undock here. It's still real, real late, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to try to skirt, skirt on over here to this little set of buildings. Maybe they can buy some fishy fish off of me. Ooh, that's a big old boat right there. That's actually a big old boat. Can I have that big old boat? Can I have your big old boat? I like your boat. Can I have it, please? Can I dock here? I can dock here. Hey, how you doing, everybody? Traveling merchant? Um, traveling merchant rolled up on to sell fish. <laughs> well, let me see what you got. Let's, uh, let's do the fish market here. Uh, yep. That's a good amount of money right there. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now, also, you got uh, the floating dock. You might be used to dry docks at other ports, but we can make upgrades to your boat. Oh, hello. Hello. I need some more cloth, though, in order to get any of these upgrades. Also, what I've noticed is by doing this, I, uh, I need some more space. And I'm going to need a lot of stuff in order to get more space. Because right now, um, yeah, I just don't, don't have enough space. 
Can't really catch fish without space. All right, uh, shipyard. Most of the gear is super heavy. All right, what do you got for me? Uh, oceanic fishing, shallows fishing, or shallow fishing, okay? Engine-wise, these give you 10.5 knots. These give me 10.5. So that's nothing new. No new nets. Lights. Ooh, that's a big old light. I don't think I can put that on here, though. I think I need another light spot. And then also I can buy some refined metal. That's a lot of money. I don't need that right now. Okay. Um, honestly, not really a whole lot here. Uh, do you need help with anything, though? You want some records of fish, is what you're asking me about. Uh, here you go. Uh, you want ore fish, gulper eel, goliath, tiger fish, and the colon canth. Okay. Colon canth was like the biggest fish you can catch in, um, what was that game called? God, it was so much fun. Animal Crossing. That's what it's called. Uh, I could probably, tell me about these colon canths. I'm going to catch them. I have no idea where they might be. Uh, but they're primordial feel to them, don't you think? All right, well, you know, you ain't got really a whole lot for me here, so, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna be going, and then I'm gonna just gonna rest up here for just a second, I'm gonna rest up until daytime, and then, uh, I'm Audi 5000, I'm getting over here. Ding! Okie dokie, let's grab this. There we go. Artifact manifest added to cabin. I need some explosives. And they said that the brother that's right over here might have them for me. Got some boom booms for me? Anybody over here got some booms? I'll take some booms. All right. Retired whaler. Um, I heard you used to make explosives. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant. Um, alright. I'd have some uses for them. But I make no promises. Anything else? Um, well, what, what the heck? I thought you were going to make me some explosives. Alright, well. Doesn't seem to be anything here that I can do other than catch a couple fish. Although I could go back over here. But I feel like that I can't really go much further here. We can try to catch some more fish. That's some creepy sounding music there. But I'm going to skirt skirt back in these cliffs over here and see what happens. Also, uh, what ooh, what do we got going here? There's a fish wreck over, shipwreck over here. Got to catch this thing. What are you? A wreck fish. Oh, you get wrecked fish. All right, let me see if we can catch up this one here. There we go. This is some big old fish. Three feet, seven inch fish. That's a big old one. All right, what do we got? Yeah, we got a dredge. Dredging is actually super easy. You just kind of got to keep it, uh, you got to keep it away from the little black spots that are there. There we go. What do we end up getting? Research parts? Oh, heck yes, please. Don't mind if I do. What you got for me over here? No, I don't feel like catching that right now. I'm just going to keep on going back over here. Something about coming over here feels dangerous. Ooh, I think this was supposed to be uh, cloth, which I definitely need that. Thank you. Oh, there's more than one. Heck yeah. I needed this cloth. This important stuff here. Oh man, there's even more. There's three here. Might need to go back and sleep again. It's getting mighty late. Oh, heck yeah, there's three here. That's so good. That was so good. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna turn around here. Because, uh, it's really, really, really... Oh, God, I'm so close to my boat. It's so dark over here. I can't see anything. 
Oh. Oh, there's something over there. Ooh, it's getting spooky out here. Oh, okay. Okay. I just need to get somewhere where I can rest. Okay, 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 okay. I just need lights. Something slithers into my cargo hold. Okay. I don't know what's going on. The slickly stench rises from your cargo hold. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna pull up I'm gonna pull up to here and I'm gonna sell that fish off. <laughs> Woo! Woo, infected fish. Both of those are infected. Oh, that there there goes money for me. I don't know how much those would have been worth. But uh, I'm freaking out. Look at my eyeball up there. I'm freaking out. Okay. All right. All right. My storage. Let's get let's get rid of some of these uh these bowls of cloth here. All right. There we go. All right. Woo. Man, that was rough. Let's go ahead and sleep. Yeah, I got I got a little I got a little worried there. Some stuff started rotting out my fish and things like that. Woo! This game gets creepy at night. You gotta watch out for that. Things definitely don't want you slurking around in their backyard. I get a little lost. That was really creepy, actually. I got over there and I, uh... I was too far away from anything to actually be able to get out. My fish ended up rotting. Lord only knows how much those fish may have been worth in the end. I think here's some more wreck fish. Yeah, these are wreck fish again. Yo, we'll catch another couple of these. There we go. We'll come over here. Pick up this. That's a shiny. Never know when you're gonna need some shinies. There we go. A bag of doubloons. Found myself a pirate ship. Alright, these look like they might be a little too big for me to catch. But we're gonna try anyway. Hey, hey a couple blackmouth salmon for the good old sails there. Never hurt anything. Oh, uh, that's all I can catch though. Let's go back, see how much these guys are worth that aren't infected. Oh, look. Another, well, what are they called? Water spout? Yeah, water spout. That's what those things are called. Water tornado. I still want their boat. I hope that at some point I can upgrade my little boat here to make it so it, uh, it's just a whole lot bigger. All right, let's just go ahead and sell up these fish. And I think we should skirt back and check our crab pots because by the time we sleep for the night and go back, it should be three days. Let's go ahead and uh, sell this stuff. Let's see how much are these worth now. Ooh, 158. Nice. Go ahead and get that sold. Very good. What do we got here? We. It's time to go home. I can't sell this to you, can I? No, you have no interest in that. Man. Got anything cool in here? Nah, still the same old, same old engines. Still the same old reef thing there, nah. Plus 11% for shallow fishing? Yeah, same thing as what I have. Not worth my time. Okay. Well, let's rest, rest till morning, and then once we get up, we'll go and see our crab pots. Okay, we're back into familiar waters. And check this out. I caught this big old boy when we were out there. I saw that when I was sitting there going between, and I'm like, well, that looks like a sailfish. So I pulled off, and I caught it, and sure enough, guess what? It was a sailfish. 
So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna sell that really quick, then we're gonna go check our- Ooh, what are you? You're a big ol'- You a big old boy, ain't ya? I think I've already caught this, though. I think this is just a black tip shark. Um... Um... Yeah, sadly, this isn't gonna fit- fit in here. Ah, man. It is what it is. See you later, Mr. Shark. I can't keep you anywho, so we're gonna come over here and we're gonna sell out this sailfish. Then we'll go hit our crab pots and see what we got. Alright, here we go for a little checky check. The lights aren't green anymore. What do you got for me? Whoa! A fiddler crab dude and this little common crab dude. And, uh, you know, take all. Yeah, there we go. Just take all. There we go. Ooh, trophy caught. Nice! Go ahead and take all those, too. We're gonna come over here. Apparently, I just leave those in the water. If I just... Oh. Okay, I did take all. I can't catch that guy, though. Here, let's try to move a couple things around here a little bit. Yeah. See if I can... Nope, there's not a way. It's okay. We'll leave... We're gonna have to discard one, I think. I think I'm gonna have to discard one. I think. How am I going to do this? Yeah, let me, let me go ahead and discard one. There you go. See you later, little buddy. There we go. Pick up that guy. There we are. Perfect packing achievement. No achievement! Perfect packing! Alright. Let's go sell these crabs and see how much these are worth in comparison to one large sailfish at 121. We got ourselves a couple of fiddler crabs here. Here we go, Mr. Fishmonger. Crabs for that order. You bet I do. Here you go. You can have this one. You can have the non-trophy fish and also that one. All right. Thank you much. That was worth 68. That's not bad. And then, uh, ooh. Ooh, a new pursuit. Eats the flesh of one of those mutants. Uh, they get sick? Well, perhaps. I don't know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Just keep this between the two of us. All right. And then the rest of these sell for 95. Wow, that other fish was worth way more than all these crab pots. But at the end of the day, with those crab pots just being little extras that are constantly fishing for me, you know what? That's not too shabby now there's one other thing that i can do before i go and i think it's in the dry dock no where is it no, maybe it is the dry dock and then i go to no no where's the research research there's the button that's what i was looking for all right so we got research parts i can go through here uh, improved outboard engine. Ooh, there we go. That might be what we want. Pots-wise, I can get an effective crab pot. Uh, no, this is a ha hardy crab pot. Goes for five days. No, and I don't have nets. I'm gonna go for engines. I'm gonna go for engines. That way we can be all the much faster. Now we got ourselves an improved engine. Look at what some of these can do. This one over here. Speed jet drive engine. Oh, that's only one spot, too, and it goes 9.5 knots. That's not too shabby at all. But that is a lot of research points in order for us to get there. Although, this here, this might be the one that we want. 36. That's going to be a pretty good engine, but we need three research parts in order to get there. All right. Well, uh, it looks like that I can come over here. I can buy this improved outboard engine, which is going to make it so I sell this guy. And then we go ahead and buy this guy for 200 And we'll just go ahead and put that on in there. And just like that, we're now that much faster. We've actually increased our speed even more. we got to wait for him to get another one of these engines in. And we can go even faster. Especially with our upgrade that we have. But that's going to do it for today. So we're going to go through. We are going to go and harvest up the rest of our crab pots. And then we are going to go over maybe to this area that's right here in the next one.